she floats through the air with the greatest of ease. This daring young girl on a flying trapeze. Her actions are graceful, although she does please. My love, she has purloined away. Oh, she'd smile from her perch on the people below. And one day she'd smile on my love. I blew her a kiss and she hollered, bravo, as she hung by her nose up above. The perception of the circus still is a man in a top hat or a, a man, a clown or somebody. Yeah, let's, let's all wear the <laughs> top hat. All woman in a top hat. All woman in a top hat. <laughs> And that is the perception. And now we've got all these amazing women around this table who can destroy that perception. Oh, she floats through the air with the greatest of ease. This daring young girl on a flying trapeze. Her actions are graceful, although she does please. My love, she has purloined away. A circus, I think, is one of the probably the few worlds where it makes no difference if you are a woman or a man. Like, for instance, my job. I mean, I was passionate about horses. and I, I'm a horse trainer and a presenter. And when I started, there was very few women doing it, but I had no opposition. But I had to prove, you know, mm. like, like a man would, on the work I did. I mean, I was the ringmistress. I was the youngest ringmistress in the world when I started. Um, but it was only because I had a good voice for the mic. Um, and that's really, but in the circus world, it doesn't matter if you're male or female. I think some of this mis misconception about uh, women in circus is because people think circus is what they see in the ring. Mm. So they don't see mm. all the things that you talked about, Becky, which is you driving your trucks mm. and doing the rigging and all this sort of stuff. Because they think, and so they don't realise that women do all this powerful but they thing. Is, uh, I always find if I work in a theatre when I'm doing a variety show or something, and you get technicians there that are used to theatricals, they're always shocked by my attitude because I expect to do my own rigging. I mean, yeah, you, exactly. have to. you don't want somebody <clears throat> else setting up your rigging wrong, you know. And whatever I do, um, I always do the technical and the artistic and the performing myself because that's the circus way. In order to, to do what we do and be in the right place with the right kit and the right organised crew or whatever, we've had so many things to do. Oh, oh, and the childcare, <laughs> you know. Oh God, and there's no food in the, in the fridge for the children. And you have to mm. be so efficient. Yeah, you do. I mean, it is really interesting bringing two children up in the circus and kind of imagining how they're gonna see it. I mean, it's an amazing environment. For children, for like children. the languages and the like, they, mm. the drummer takes it <clears throat> into to the drum by the drum kit, gives them like drumming lessons between the shows. She'd be on the show, like first into the dressing room, doing notes, noticing what was happening. My daughter, she she's going to take over the show. The daughter is. Don't you find that um, within the actual show is different? I mean, outside the show, you're doing the rigging, you're driving the trucks, you're doing all that stuff, helping with the tent, but in the show. Um, there is very traditional male and female roles. Okay, so you managed to be a ringmaster. I don't know how much you had to prove yourself for that. Trapeze, mm. the man yeah, is a really. catcher. Yeah. And the reason Skinning the Cat became an all-female company, oh, I anymore, that's wanted to be the catcher. Yeah. Me. I'm, mm. I'm big, I'm Amazon, I'm not a little flyer. I couldn't have done it if I was going to be the flyer. I wanted to be the catcher, and I found when I worked with men, I couldn't be. Partly because I was too big to be the flyer, but partly also because they couldn't cope with that. One of the best flying trapeze acts ever was the flying Tyrells, which were all female. Mm. OK, the catcher was male, but that, that was because it, it was a family. It was three mm. sisters and a brother. I mean, they, but also the, the power of those girls. Mm. But they used, you used to say, wow, she's so good, she flies like a man. Oh, she floats through the air with the greatest of ease. You'd think her a man on the flying trapeze. She does all the work while the men take their ease. And that's what it's like for my love. I mean, one of the things I was interested in is female clowns. Mm. And you don't often get female clowns, even historically. But that doesn't mean you didn't have funny women. No. Like, you didn't no. have funny cl like, female clowns, but you had someone like Josephine Baker who was a total comedian. Well, I like, think the funny comedian, but I, I, you know, 250 years, maybe five female clowns I've found. Yeah. So I find that kind of interesting. Yeah. Like you say, I, I can find antecedents to most 
things because we, you don't see young women wanting to be clowns nowadays yeah. in the same way other aspects of the circus. It's not, so well, it's not very glamorous. It's not very glamorous, yeah. yeah. In the years ago, it used to be the big boots and the big nose. I don't think mm. many women probably that, didn't want to. To be funny is a level of exposure and a kind of a willingness to be um, grotesque. It's hard to be laughed at. Mm. And I think that, that maybe so there is a kind of political thing in that, that women, that women find it hard find it harder to be to make themselves that vulnerable yeah. that, that a man can. One thing there isn't in circus, there's not many female circus directors. Mm, exactly. No. So yeah. you, how many female circus directors did you work for? And then I was thinking, probably two. One of the things that really attract me to circus is the relative lack of body tyranny in circus compared to other art forms is that you could be, I mean, the, a woman in circus can be uh, all much chubbier, don't you think? Curvy. Much curvy. curvy. Yes, that's curvy. Just, I'm just don't looking at the word. Much more curvy, but there I, isn't this I sort of I do think thing. you look very glamorous, actually, voting, you know, body <laughs> politics. Let's be honest, you look damn gorgeous. Well, I love the chunky thighs well, on the women. I love that they're especially. chunky, they're not floppy. They're strong. No, that's they're right. strong. That's they're strong, right. aren't they? But they're working women. They're not, they're not sort of wobbly. No, no they're but they're powerful. <laughs> it's not, <laughs> even if you're in a pair of fishnets, it's a powerful would, pair of yes. fishnets. It's yeah, not a, it's not like a wimpy. No, it's yeah. not yeah. emaciated yeah. and it's not yeah. wimpy. Well, it's especially like high wire acts. I mean, when mm. it was used to have the big troops, because my mother, she came from a big troop of high wire walkers. But they all had the, what they call the stay thighs. The, the name of the family mm. was stay. Right. But they all had these really strong... But that was from the work as well. They were mm. built like it, mm. but yeah. also... Have you got smart thighs? Yes, I have, actually. <laughs> <laughs> People who say, oh, you know, yeah. we need to get more women in circus. I think when... I mean, what, what's fantastic talking to you is that you say, well, women have always been in the centre. I know, I Miss get... Miss Lala, oh, yeah. Karinga. said to me quite recently, well, how can you bear circus? It's so sexist. And I'm like, not at no. all. Really. I mean, these powerful, look at look at all of you, these fabulous, <laughs> powerful, inventive, creative women. You run a circus, you know, you're a huge circus star. You set up a circus company. I mean, I said, how is that sexist? But I think some, because maybe of the, co what is it? I think is it's it the, the costume, costume yes, I think makes before, you know, it used to be, to be. the sort of, Used to be the style of the G string tits and, teeth. and yeah, yeah tits, tits and teeth, tits and teeth, yeah. yeah. And I think that's what, yeah. what did it. My costumes were very, I would say, discreet, but they were sort of evening dresses, but they were also dresses that clung to the body, and you thought you could see something, but you couldn't. But your costumes are fabulous, Becky. But they are. Dressing up as an exaggeration. That yeah, they're over yourself. the top, aren't they? Yeah, they're completely not, over yeah. the top. But I, I must say, for me, there's a transition time before before a show where you're kind of doing your stretching and you're getting your makeup on, where you're you're becoming that extension of yourself. You're getting into that that zone from being. It's a connection to the person that's been banging stakes in and driving trucks, because it's still that powerful thing, but you're becoming your performance, your aerial character. What happened with me is I used to share my fabulous feather headdress with um, the uh, performer who had done an act before me. She used to come off, take off her headdress, and I used to put it on, and I could kind of smell her on it. I'll be the sweat. I'll be the sweat. And I really, <laughs> really, really... Let's show your top hat I then, really, yeah? really, really Let's... love that because it made, made me feel that I was part of something. It wasn't just me going out there, me, Dee Burkett, you know, it's supposed, but the, the sort of it was... I was share, yeah. literally <laughs> sharing the sweat with. See, I'm very optimistic about the future of sex. I think it's all fabulous and I think, and I think it's interesting how many really significant women there are in circus, don't you think, at the moment? So what do we think about the future? I think it's female. <laughs> <laughs> I think it always has oh, been female. Yeah. And I can't wait to see your daughter's first show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, She's already running it, by the way. Swing, little girl, swing.
swing high into the sky and don't ever look at the ground if you're looking for rainbows look up to the skies and now 